This is my main bank of drill presses here. This is one of my early drill presses. I've had this since I, I started knife making. It's a uh, little CD drill. Uh, and I always have it set up just for pilot hole drilling with a 3 mil drill. Um, this is the main drill press, uh, the newest drill press that I've added to the workshop. I've had this uh, crumbs. Uh, six months now I suppose and uh, this is a Warco uh, model number 1014B uh, and I'm really happy with it. Uh, I've done a lot of hole drilling with it now and I use it predominantly for drilling the large diamond holes in the tanks. Very accurate, very smooth running and you'll see it in operation in a minute. And lastly is, um, is this drill which is a, a Clark metal worker and I've had this a couple of years um, and, it, and I use this at slightly higher higher speeds, higher RPM uh, to drill through the, uh, the handle materials so this the, drilling the pilot holes is done at slightly higher higher RPM the, um, the walk over is quite slow as you'll see when I draw the steel and again back for wood and, and other sort of handle materials I run at a higher RPM with, the, with this drill, so the, the having the having a selection of drills means that I can have them preset to their various speeds, and it makes it so much easier and quicker. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll give you a, a quick rundown on that on me using this drill. I've got some 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 holes to drill in these um, in these classic knives, so uh, you'll, you'll see it in operation there. But pr pr primarily, the Warco is the drill I'm going to be working on today, and uh, it has a built-in light, and uh, well, I'll often um, I've often got one of these sort of IKEA work lamps that I'll uh, move around from drill press to drill press if I need extra light. But this is sufficient for uh, for the, the built-in light is sufficient for what I want to do on this drill press. The the Walker also has uh, a wet table. Uh, it's very very sturdy. It has a nice wide column. Everything about this drill is is it's it's beefy. It's a good drill, and uh, and it runs ever so smooth. Uh, it's heavy in its action. It's just a nice machine to work with. Um, whereas the other two are a bit more budget, but they're quite well quite up to the job of drilling knife tangs. But this one is just a, another step up the ladder, I think. Um, it took two of us to manhandle it onto the bench. So if anyone's thinking of getting one, you're going to need a bit of muscle power to get it up there. Uh, anyway, let's get drilling in some tangs, and then you'll see how smooth it runs. Just so you can see the speed range, it's 16 speeds, 20 mil chuck, uh, 650 watt, 230 volt motor. So it's a it's a good, powerful machine. And the uh, the depth setting is all uh, set on this. Uh, this threaded bar here, the usual uh, on and off buttons, voltage release buttons. First of all, uh, just out of interest, I'll run you through a, uh, a startup noise test. So we've got the cheap CD drill, we'll start that one up and listen to the noise it makes. Not too bad. Uh, the Clark Metal Worker. Let's listen to that. Not too bad, get a bit of vibration from the hood, uh, but that's nothing too bad. Now to the Warco, just listen to this. Isn't that lovely? The Warco drill also has a nice cast uh, spindle, very positive grip, and um, it's just a lovely tool to work with. It is my favourite drill of the three. This is a new workshop angle for me. I've normally got you over that way, uh, but hopefully it'll be a good angle for you to get a um, good vision on what I'm doing here. Uh, I've got the, the clamp that I fabricated. 
I tend to um, I want to draw these these central holes out here so I tend to start the drill up just bring the clamp down just lightly in the center in the drill Beautifully accurate holes drilled in the tang of a knife. I guess like all things, you know, having uh, nice tools really does make the job so much nicer. Uh, it just makes it, everything go better and um, it gives you an awful lot of satisfaction as well. <laughs> I know it's such a simple operation just drilling holes in a piece of metal, but you know, it's, uh, it's enjoyable, funny enough, you know, uh, and anyone uh, think they're spending money on uh, equipment just buy the best you can afford and the, the Warco isn't that overly expensive uh, there are better drill presses or the more or more expensive I should say whether they're better or not I don't know really uh, Meddings um, Fabco uh, traditional uh, English drill drill presses I did look at getting a, a Meddings drill uh, I, I would have loved the Meddings but um, it was a colossal price. Uh, you were looking at a four-figure sum, uh, so um, I couldn't really justify that. Whereas this uh, Warco does everything I want it to do. And I thoroughly recommend the Warco drill. I really do enjoy using it. It's uh, smooth, accurate, quiet. So anyway, that brings this video to a conclusion. Hope it's been of interest, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. I've got some nice holes to drill. finished up to preheat treat standard now so not a bad day really quite a long day these are all um, tapered tangs as well so hopefully you can see uh, the tangs tapering down from 4 mil down to about 1.5 uh, finished to a good um, 240 grit finish preheat treat logos all stamped on nice and deep and even preheat treat bevel grinds put on don't go all the way you can see there's a couple of mil mil and a half couple of mil thickness there uh, so quite happy with that that was a good day <laughs>